Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So this video is going to be covering uh, Necromunda from my What's Next um, experience. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I was at the What's Next event over in Paris. I was invited there and I got to see a lot of 40k games. Um, I'm going to be covering uh, over multiple videos all these games. If you want to go and see um, more coverage from the other 40k games that were at the event, I have a link in the description of this video that links to the playlist. So go over there and you can enjoy or the other 40k stuff I got to uh, see at the event. So I was really looking forward to seeing um, Necromunda at the event because it was announced last year and we haven't really seen anything of it since then. Like, there was no uh, screenshots or it hasn't really been spoken about. I was actually thinking since Forge World and Games Workshop have been releasing so much Necromunda last year where, where they basically got a surprise and drop it, but it never happened, so I was really looking forward to seeing this. And when I sat down, there was two developers there, and one was going to be playing House Goliath, and one was going to be playing House Escher, and they were going to be playing each other in a PvP multiplayer battle. Now, before they jumped in and started smashing each other in the face, they did show off some of the class and trait system, uh, some of the equipment and stuff like that. So the class system, it had a couple of things. We had something called a, uh, a Dead Eye, which basically Basically, um, you had like a harpoon and stuff as an army was really really awesome uh, you had like a heavy class which carried the big weapons you have a saboteur which could go around um, planting bombs and stuff like that and you had the brawler which was like this big you know carried a big melee stick and just went around just hitting things in the face uh, like I said you had the trait system and in the trait system there was physical mental and martial traits again you can invest in all these when you level up and all that kind of stuff you had equipment and equipment unlocking uh, and the way you did unlock your equipment you can do this two ways you can either loot stuff so people who you kill on the battlefield or in the games and stuff like that you can loot them and try and get all their cool stuff or you can get it by just doing the old-fashioned way and completing missions now one of the cool things about this and it definitely needed to be in is that necromunda will will have full body customization color palettes so if you want even though you're say playing a theme of house escher you can make your own kind of esque house escher um house and you know you can do it like i don't know all greens and blues and you know just just make your own own gang if you actually wanted to and going back to the body customization you can go in there you can um add like different arms you know all that kind of really really cool stuff it does give you the full-on range of customization so every person or every every gang that you can come across online will have a different um look to them so everyone's just not this boring old same self when they jumped in the game they were playing something called a secure area this is one of the map game modes it's basically you have to kill everyone <laughs> that's what they said you have to kill everyone but they were talking a bit about the maps what they have planned like all the maps are going to be bigger maps than Mordheim so if you think of like the biggest Mordheim map these are going to be vastly upped in scale the engine that they're actually using now in the game is the unreal engine so they've changed that and i've got to say the game looked amazing when they actually got in there and you've seen all the characters and stuff in the game the environments and stuff if if there's one thing that i've come out of from this event is that the developers on each of these projects which i visited and got information of understand what 40k is they they have the same passion and love for 40k that we the fans do and it shows in the games they looked incredible now when you come to deploy your teams this has changed a bit this is now in a 3d deployment zone the zone that they shown like the 3d deployment zone was still a big work in progress so it's just a bit blocky and stuff like that but they did show that everything is 3d now so you can you know place your guys or girls at different areas and you can see where they all are and stuff the main thing about necromunda now is that you have the vertical scale is very very important than like just being on the ground level like for example the uh the class system the dead eye who has the harpoon arm he can shoot that harpoon arm like up onto a railing and like climb up and like get out of danger or like cut someone off and stuff like that it's really really cool how they're designing the map so you have to think what's above you not just you know what's on the same level as you as well so that's going to be very very cool when it comes to you know doing tactics and fighting against people and all that kind of stuff now one of the big big things in this game is that your movement is in real time now this is a turn-based game, but the way they've done it is that, for example, I spawn and the enemy spawns and we're moving our characters, our, our ones that we spawn first, we're moving them in real time, trying to get to certain objectives in the match. But when those characters come across each other or characters who are moving come across each other, it turns then into a turn-based combat game. It was really, really cool how they did it, like the, ru the running around, going up steps and stuff. And you can see like the other enemy player on the other side of the map and when they get close to each other, that's when it... Uh, 
activates like uh, the combat and it turns to a turn-based game and that's when you know uh, that person fires and then that person fires and stuff like that it was really really cool how they're actually doing it for necromunda now like when they were playing the maps and stuff and like i said before like the verticality is a huge with tactics now so you've got like zip wires everywhere along the maps and stuff so you can like zip wire up to someone you if you're if you're about to die and there's a zip wire there you can jump on the zip wire and get out of there so all the map and the, uh, and the environments were really really cool they're showing off like exploding barrels uh like this first aid boxes and stuff like in the middle um and everyone well these two chaps who were playing it uh were moving in to try and get the first aid it just turned into like a big battle a big brawl in the middle it was really really cool there was this uh really um the um, uh, cool thing where they they actually named uh, the brawler after me. They called it uh, Chapter Master Balrog, which is really really cool. And uh, they were they they ended it with the two uh, brawlers from each faction about to smash each other, and they were about to like go into combat, and they were like, well. That is it. You'll have to tune in next time to find out what happened. Everyone was like, oh, holy emperor, no. <laughs> so it was kind of cool. But I'm looking forward to see if Chapter Master Valrak does come out and he is successful in that uh, battle. We did have uh, some time for questions at the end, uh, me and a couple of other people who were there, and I were asking questions. I asked them about the campaign, how long the campaign is going to be, and they were like, well, that's a work in progress. So I asked, uh, when's the release date? Have you got any news of when the game's going to release it? And they were like, well, that is a work in progress, you know, with smirks on their face. And I asked them about the gangs. Uh, what gangs will this game have? Because if you've been following Necromunda through, you know, the actual tabletop itself, GW is working on a lot of stuff with Necromunda. You've got, like, all these bounty hunters and all that kind of stuff. So I asked some questions, you know, it, some of the models that were that are coming out on tabletop, are these going to be added into your product? And they were like, we're working very, very closely with GW. So they didn't, they didn't say yes, but they didn't say no. It, it, it was kind of like... Um, a winky wink saying, yeah, of course, we're going to be having them because, obviously, they're, they're part of the Necromunda universe at the moment. The game's looking really, really nice. I'm actually surprised on how well it looks. Um, of course, I would love to have seen more, but you can't really have the best at these events. But uh, I'm sure we're going to be seeing a lot of big things this year from Necromunda. I, I personally do think that it's going to be released in 2018, but please don't quote me on that. Um, but the way it was looking, it, it looks like... It's going to be released this year, like everything, like the UI system they they had in place, and um, like all the color palettes and um, how all the models looked and stuff like that. It looked it looked really really nice. So I am hoping that 2018 will be the release date for Necromunda. And I think for those of you who enjoy the Necromunda on the tabletop, I think you got to absolutely love this game. This game um, definitely is going to be uh, a must buy for me the way it's looking at the moment so i'm 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 super pumped i'm super excited for it again i go back to the subject of that these developers are making games with the passion that we have for the hobby so they just look and they feel they feel and look like good 40k games so this is one of the things i'm really really happy about that some of the studios that are producing uh, some of these 40k games understand what the 40k genre is and like i said it shows it shows in the game so i'm i'm super excited and i'm definitely definitely looking forward to uh, necromunda all right chaps thank you for watching this video um hope you've enjoyed it hope i pass on some information if you've got any more questions post them below in the comment section i'll do my best to try and answer them uh, and um put some more information across to you in that way um uh, thanks for watching and uh yeah hope you've enjoyed it see you now and bye bye